All right, time to evaluate a few expressions that contain fractional exponents. Now, the way I do these, I try to rewrite the main number as an exponent that matches the bottom number of the fraction. If I can get that done, I will show you that I can cancel that out and raise the remaining number to the exponent that was on top of the fraction. Observe as we work these examples. Nine to the three halves. All right, can I rewrite nine as some number to the second power? Exactly, I can write that as three to the second power. Okay, but now I still have my exponent of three halves sitting out there. Well, if you know anything about multiplying, I'm able to put a one under the two, and now notice as I cancel the twos out, what's left is three to the third power. And y'all, three to the third power is 27. Next example. Sixteen to the five-fourths. Can I rewrite sixteen as some number to the fourth power? Yes, I can write that as two to the fourth power. And I still have my exponent of five-fourths. Well, as I did here, these fours are now able to cancel, giving me two to the fifth power. Well, y'all, 2 to the 5th power is 32. 2 times 2 is 2, 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. All right, time for some more. 25 to the 3 halves. All right. This negative is not in parentheses, so it comes down. Now, can I rewrite 25 as some number to the second power? Yes, that would be 5 to the second power, still to the 3 halves exponent on the outside. Well, guess what? The 2's cancel. I bring down my negative, and that gives me 5. Exponent left is 3. All right. The negative comes down, and then 5 to the third power is 125. All right, last example. 81 to the 3 fourths. Can I rewrite 81 as some number to the fourth power? Yes, that number is 3 to the fourth power. Okay, now guess what? These fours cancel, giving me three to the third power. And as we know, three times three times three gives me 27. So, notice on these two examples, when the number on top is bigger than the number on bottom in the fraction, the number that I get for my answer is bigger than the number I started with. But if the number on top of the fraction, as in 3 fourths, is smaller than the bottom number, my answer is smaller than the number I started with. Alright, so remember, try to rewrite that number as a number raised to the exponent that matches the bottom number of the fraction. We can get that done, then those will always cancel, giving me a smaller number to raise to that exponent. Until next time, have a good day.